Morning everyone. Hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully everybody's excited for the weekend. I uh, don't know if anybody's got anything fun planned, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing 7, 2 through 13. And um, I'm going to try to do this as, as smoothly as possible, but I'm going to kind of point out where there's evidence for for you know, 2 Corinthians being a collection of, of letters and fragments of letters, and, and we'll kind of see how that Takes a look. So yesterday I said that uh, six fourteen through seven one was kind of a little fragment that they might have like plugged in here someplace. Because uh, if you notice, Second um, Corinthians six, um, you go eleven through thirteen. He's talk, he, he says we have spoken frankly to you. Our, our hearts is wide open to you. There is no restriction in our affections, but only in yours. In return, I speak as to children. Open wide your hearts also. Make room in your hearts for us. We have wronged no one. We have corrupted no one. We have taken advantage of no one. I do not say this to condemn you, for I said before that you are in our hearts to die together and to live together. I often boast about you. I have great pride in you. I am filled with consolation. I am overjoyed in all our affliction. So you see how that kind of like just goes together perfectly in terms of topic, content. So that's why I must believe that there was something added between them. Now here, <laughs> seven five is the start of where we left off from two thirteen. So let's just read a couple verses here. It says, "For even when we came into Macedonia, our bodies had no rest, but we were afflicted in every way, disputes without the fears within. But God, who consoles the downcast, consoled us by the arrival of Titus." So okay, here he has a mention of Titus. And where we leave, leave off is, uh, when I came to Troas to proclaim the good news of Christ, doors opened for me in the Lord, but my mind could not rest because I could not find my brother Titus there. So I said farewell to them and went on to Macedonia. For even when we came into Macedonia, our bodies had no rest, but we were afflicted in every way, disputes without the fears within. So you can see that, like, 2.13 to 7.5, like, it's the same story. <laughs> <laughs> like Paul just keeps writing. And so just, again, doesn't change anything. It's just very interesting in terms of how we understand Second Corinthians and why there's times where it, it seems a little disjointed. But, okay, let's continue on. Uh, or actually, I'll start again with uh, verse 5. It says, For even when we came into Macedonia, our bodies had no rest. But we were afflicted in every way, disputes without and fears within. But God, who consoles the downcast, consoled us by the arrival of Titus, and not only by his coming, but also by the consolation for which he was consoled about you, and he told us of your longing, your mourning, your zeal for me, so that I rejoiced still more. For even if I made you sorry with my letter, I do not regret it, though I did regret it, for I see that it grieved you with that letter, though only briefly. Now I rejoice, not because you were grieved, but because your grief led to repentance, for you felt a godly grief, so that you were not harmed in any way by us. For godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation and brings no regret, but worldly grief produces death. For see, what earnestness this godly grief has produced in you, what eagerness to clear yourselves, what indignation, what alarm, what longing, what zeal, what punishment. At every point you have proved yourselves guiltless in the matter. So although I wrote to you, it was not on account of the one who did the wrong, nor on account of the one who was wrong, but in order that your zeal for us might be made known to you before God. In this we find comfort. Actually, we're going to just keep, keep continuing. We're going to read the rest of chapter 7 here. In addition to our own consolation, we rejoice still more at the joy of Titus, because his mind had been set at rest by all of you. For if I have been somewhat boastful about you to him, I was not disgraced, but just as everything we said to you was true, so our boasting to Titus has proved true as well. And his heart goes out all the more to you, as he remembers the obedience of all of you, and how you welcomed him with fear and trembling. I rejoice because I have complete confidence in you. So there, there we were, 7-2 through 7-16. So yeah, here it comes back to 
this understanding that that we have that that there was there was there, there was some sort of letter of communication of rebuke that we don't have, and so now Paul is kind of addressing that, and he's saying. He, he actually does it really well. Like he, he he talks about godly or worldly repentance. It's like you know, I said these things because what happened was wrong, and I didn't want to cause you grief. But I'm kind of glad I did because you repented. <laughs> so uh, it's one of those things. Like well, I mean, he 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 did what he set out to do in in that and in, in, in encouraging them to to look inside and repent and see that they needed to adjust and change their ways. So. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. Ho hopefully you guys could follow that, and uh, if not, just take a look at it on your own in your own Bibles, and you can see. Uh, looking from two, you know, thir twelve and thirteen to um, uh, seven four, just the seamless transition there, and then also kind of missing that that uh, a section of sixteen. But this is kind of interesting. You know, sometimes we forget that the Bible came together over, you know several decades and and people uh were doing their best to to get what was uh what they thought was supposed to be in there in there and yeah it's it, it's but again it doesn't change anything <laughs> it just makes it a little more understandable in terms of the argument and, and where paul takes it so okay let's close with a word of prayer good and gracious god we give you thanks for for just the life that you give us with each and every day the blessing just continue to help us persevere and uh, put our hope in you in jesus name we pray amen okay take care and we will see you all on monday